everyone, it's Marie from Flippin' in Phoenix. I'm also the Flippin' Princess. Today I'm gonna show you how to use a box resizer. That is what this is right here. You can get them off eBay. You can also get them off of um, bubblefast.com. And what this does is it helps to, when you have a box, like right now I'm shipping this purse, but I have a lot of extra space in this box and I don't wanna have to pay for a larger box than what I need to. So what I do is I use this box resizer and all I have to do is I open up the flaps, I set it on the edge, I go to the highest point that I can and then I can adjust this size to wherever I need it. There's also a measuring tape on the side of it. And when I get to where I can use it, I just perforate around the whole box. Turn the box, perforate on this side. So it's gonna keep the same size on all the perforations around the box. And you can actually take the item out if you want to during this process. You don't have to leave it on like I have. So now I have all the perforations. Then I'm just gonna take a box knife or a knife or a pair of scissors. And you go on to each corner. If it's a, the box is large enough, you can do it from the inside. If not, you can do it from the outside and go down to where the perforation ends on each one and cut the sides up and then you just fold it down on the perforations and you have a nicely new sized box that fits it perfect and you don't have to pay as much shipping. <laughs> Thanks guys. Oh, and by the way, if you get to the point where uh, it just pushes you over into the next size, you can go ahead and cut down your flaps so that it takes some of the weight off. Thanks guys, bye-bye.